allowed me to try anything that I wanted to. Um, I think one of the greatest gifts you can give to a child or to a youngster is to allow them to try things. <laughs> so I was I played the violin for six months, and then I played ice hockey for six months, I was into skateboarding, I was into basketball, um, then I gave dancing a go for about three minutes. <laughs> but so I was singing in a choir, I think, at the time. But acting was something that um, sort of came natural to me. Um, I grew up watching my older brother, or my one, one older brother, um, doing uh, theatre. So it was kind of a natural thing for me that, that I would want to do. Um, and my mum, bless her heart, she was willing and able to take me up to London get to find me an agent because I wanted to work, I wanted to be in movies, and um, and then proceeded to go for about, and this is no joke, at least a hundred auditions of being told no. You know, people always assume there's this like golden <laughs> arc, it's like most of it is failing, most of it is failing and, and being okay with failing, uh, and, and going up for things I was never right for, uh, but my mum Never being pushy, but always saying, you know, don't worry, you'll get the next one, don't worry, you'll get the next one. And, you know, <laughs> once I did the Boris, it never seemed to stop. And I, <laughs> when I was 12, I was the only member of the cast, I think, who had never heard of this thing. I was like, Harry who? <laughs> uh, in fact, quick, quick side story, that's how I got the part. Um, we, we were all lined up in a row. Uh, these kids, it was, we weren't actors, we were just kids. And really enough, I was standing next to Emma, I think, at one of my first auditions, which is <laughs> quite ironic. But I remember Chris Columbus was going down the line of kids, just saying, what are you most excited about from the book to be recreated into the film? And I was a bit of a cocky little shit at the time. <laughs> so I'm just sort of standing there like this, waiting for my turn, and then I realise, when it gets to sort of the kid next to me, I don't, I don't know what the bloody hell Harry Potter is. I've never read the book. I've got a clue. So I think quick on my feet. The guy next to me says something about green butts. I want to. I want to see green butts. So I was like, yeah, I love green butts too. You know, <laughs> just the way they fly about. Uh, <laughs> Chris Columbus was like, really, really. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I just, I just love those green butts. <laughs> I think he was like, Malfoy. <laughs> Cheers, <Dave. laughs> Thanks for your question, man. I was just a good liar. <laughs> yes, we'll do two more. Let's do it. Hi, I'm Catherine. Hello, Catherine. I'm Tom. <laughs> um, for my question, I was wondering if you had any rivalries with any of the other actors slash kids. All of them, I hate the lot. <laughs> uh, no, never. Never had any... Never had any tension with anyone. I know it sounds boring, uh, and it sounds like a cliche to say we were just one big happy family, but we really were. Um, uh, what rivalries do we have? The rivalries would be with Daniel, of like Simpson knowledge, trivia knowledge. He, he, um, he's got a fantastic ability to retain information, so he would always get me out. He knew, um, I remember uh, Apu's, uh, you know the character Apu? Yeah. His surname, which I can't, still can't pronounce. Something like Nessa Pitta 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 Litta <laughs> Anyway, he always knew that. So we would rhyme, we would rhyme on other things like that on the drumsticks. That's the sort of thing that we would um, squabble about. But other than that, no, we were all bloody good friends. Cheers, mate. One more, here we go. Here we go. Um, hi, my name is Rosalind. Hi, Rosalind. <laughs> I'm a Ravenclaw, so. Next. <laughs> my best friend is a Slytherin. All right, that'll do. Better. Alright, hit me. What was your favorite scene to film, whether it was all by yourself or with the rest of the cast? Uh, it's not my favorite scene by any means, but I remember there was one, <laughs> there was one scene in the, um, in the Central Hub. Uh, well, actually, no, I remember being invited, because at first, for as you don't know, Julia, my character, is not exactly uh, um, a friend of Barry's, but eventually he gets invited into Team Flash. Which was a really cool moment, actually, to be part of the uh, part of the team. But that, I, I, I forget the scene. I wish Grant was here because he would remember it far better than I did. But there was one scene where I couldn't remember the line, 
it's very confusing learning that learning that lingo because it's all about you know metas and, and, and very confusing terminology, which I was supposed to be an expert in, which I clearly bloody wasn't. But there was one scene I remember where instead of just forgetting my line, saying nothing, I said something like, "Barry, we need to get down to the sausages." <laughs> I just changed the word for sausages, or something like that, uh, and I just recall standing up immediately and walking off set, <laughs> horrendously embarrassed, and Grant never let me forget about that one. <laughs> it wasn't even sausages, it sounded like it, it was like, Barry, we need to go to the sausages, <laughs> Yes, I'm glad you don't have that footage to bring it up, but yes, that was a lot of fun. Cheers, mate. Let's, uh, Tom Felton is going to do something now that has never happened at any other con or convention. So
feeling I wanna Talking to my boy D the other day We decided we were better off without it anyway We're better off without it anyway Well chill and watch movies, movies We don't need no movies in our life anymore Shit Mm -hmm. 
If I'm true and if I'm honest If I speak my heart complete I see hope and I see promise The whole world that's there for you and me Seems that there's a way But everything that's everywhere will end up okay then seems there's a way I don't know. 